That is actually true. I will be making a video about that when I get to Nashville and you'll know everything then. I look like total dick today. <sighs> Drinking's bad, I'm never drinking again. <laughs> also, wow. Uh, so <clears throat> a, a few months ago, I <laughs> asked you guys to put your assumptions into Instagram and I did nothing with it. I screenshot it, I laughed, I appreciated your assumptions, and then I didn't do anything with it like a terrible YouTuber. So I asked you guys again, so I was like, you know what? I need to sit down and film it the day I ask because I'm gonna forget about it or it's just, just gonna go to waste again. So I apologize if you spent the time writing your assumptions in a few months ago and you never saw that video. Also, I feel like the assumptions are different now that like my divorce video is out there. Let's dive right in. I'm flying out to Chicago tomorrow. By the time you see this, I'll probably be in Nashville. I got my nails done the other day and I really don't like them. I think that they look like I have like frostbite. I asked you guys on Twitter and y'all were like, get that ish fixed. So I'm gonna get those fixed today because I agree with y'all. Yeah, um, I think I might use this palette today because I used this yesterday and I really like this palette. I think NYX has like really up to their game. Like this is pretty sweet. Let's get into your assumptions. These had me cracking up when I looked earlier and they're probably still rolling in because I just put this up like an hour and a half ago. I might mention what I'm using, I might not. Someone said they, they're assuming that I am not Christian. Where's my concealer? Oh my gosh, I'm such a train wreck today. No, honestly, where's my concealer? Got it. First, I'm gonna put in the uh, put on the Morphe prep and set. I know I said this on Instagram, but because did I say I was hungover on this video yet already? I think I did. <sighs> Drinking's bad. I'm never drinking again. <laughs> When I'm hungover, a lot of my words don't make sense. So someone said that I'm not Christian. So they're assuming that I'm not Christian. I am Christian. I grew up in a super fun rock and roll Christian church in Santee, California. It's called Foothills Christian Fellowship. I went there since I was like two years old, basically since my dad met my stepmother, Karen, um, who you guys were all saying had like amazing abs on Instagram the other day. My mom, who is actually my re real mom, she texted me, she's like, so everyone's saying that your mom is like really nice abs and you ain't setting anyone straight. Like she literally said that, she said ain't, you ain't. <laughs> I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm not even gonna answer this right now. I'm too inebriated to even give this woman what she wants. Anyways, yes, I am Christian. I don't go to church every Sunday at the moment, but I do pray every night and I do believe in God. I don't know if I necessarily believe in the Bible as a whole, but I choose to take from it what makes me a better person. Moving on, before I get into the religious thing. You have a slight resentment towards Ryan. Uh, yeah, he gave up on our marriage, but I don't resent Ryan. Am I a little irritated that he did things the way that he did? Yes, I feel like it could have been a lot better and he could have been a lot more respectful of me and been a better husband, even if he did want to separate. But unfortunately that didn't, you know, really happen, but he's doing the best that he knows how. So I, I really can't fault him on that, but I was feeling very resentful when it first when we first started kind of when we were doing this like whole thing before I even knew, knew we were gonna separate I was feeling resentment towards him because I didn't know what was going on like in our marriage I'm like what the hell is go like are you cheating on me like I don't understand so there was a little bit of resentment there but um you know since then it, it's I, you just have to make peace with it like what are you gonna do like I'm happier than I've ever been right now and I'm grateful for the opportunity honestly so someone assumed your parents don't like that you're covered in tattoos that is so so true. <laughs> my mom more so. Like if my mom had it her way, I probably wouldn't have any tattoos at all. So there's that. Tattooed Stay says, no assumption, just wanted to say you look so happy and good in yourself currently. Thank you so much. I feel really happy and good in myself currently. Someone assumed that I'm pansexual. No, I'm not. I have a cousin who is and she's awesome, but no, I am not. Someone said you want more animals. <clears throat> that is true, but I know that that I am not in a position at the moment to have more animals, so I am going to not go down that road. But while we're on the subject, we can go over a few animals that I will have in the future. So I would like to have some land out in Tennessee, probably like a minimum of three acres. I'd prefer to have like 10, even five would be cool. I'd like to have chickens and I'd like to have horses and not like 
tons of horses. I just need like one or two or something. I might get some goats or something too, but I'd also really like a, um, a cat at some point, you know, probably when I'm more out in the country and they can go outside and everything. Um, I'm slightly allergic to cats. And the problem with hay also for horses is that I am actually allergic to hay as well. So feeding hay to my rabbits is kind of hard for me at times. And I try and have Nancy, my housekeeper, who you guys may know, she helps with all my animals and everything. She, um, I have to have her help me a lot cause I'll actually break out. Like I just, my eyes get all puffy and like, it's, it's not, it's not great. All my brushes are almost dirty. This is I really planned well for this. <laughs> Someone said you don't open up easily because people used it against you in the past. People have used things that I've opened up about in the past against me specifically. I think I talked about it in my video where I talked about my physically and emotionally abusive relationship that I was in, in my early twenties. I, he did use some things against me, but honestly I am, an open book. I would prefer to have all of my feelings and everything that I'm thinking out on the table. You know what I'm thinking, like no matter who you are in my life, whether you're my friend, my colleague, my boyfriend, my husband, whatever, you know what I'm thinking. I actually am an open book and willing to talk about pretty much anything. It just depends whether it's an appropriate time or not. But yeah, I'm actually a pretty, a pretty open book, I would say. That's that. Yay for sharing your feelings. Okay, so I'm pretty pale for literally all of these foundations right now. So we're just gonna try. This is the um, Hourglass Vanish Seamless Liquid Foundation. And this shade is in Shell. I think it's a little dark, but I'm just gonna have to bronze my skin because I'm still trying to get off my damn spray tan. I was talking on Twitter about spray tans. Like I love being tan, like especially when my face is tan. I really, really like that. But it's just like after three days, it just starts to look like garbage and it looks like so weird around my like feet and stuff. Like it almost just be pale than like have that mess. Someone assumes there's, th this is a two in one. Someone assumed you're still in love with Ryan and I'm not sure if it was a different person, but I saw it earlier. No, it's a different person. They said, you're still low key with Ryan. Um, no. I am not low key with Ryan. I actually um, just had to have a talk with him the other day and I was like, I need you to give me my space a little bit and we need to keep everything that we discuss like business. We're friends and stuff, but um, no, we are definitely not low key still together. We hang out sometimes and like we went hiking a couple weeks ago and stuff, um, but no, we are not together. Actually not attracted to Ryan anymore. Uh, I hope that he's not watching this cause I don't want to hurt his feelings. He's probably not watching it, but I lost attraction so long ago. Like, do you know how unattractive it is when your husband <sighs> doesn't put work into your marriage? Like that is so not attractive. So then when we separated, it was really quite easy for me to kind of separate myself because I, I was already on that path. So no, we are not together. We will never be together ever again. That will never happen. Do I, I still love Ryan? Yeah. I mean, how could you, you don't just turn off love. Like I still have love for people that I had relationships with a long time ago, but it's just a different kind of love. It's not like you're in love with them. It's like you care for them. And that's kind of where it stops. My friend Teresa said, you're a hoe. <laughs> I've known my friend Teresa since I was in sixth grade. She knows damn well. That is not an accurate assumption. I actually still have never been with anyone since I was in my early, or 23, since I got together with Ryan. I, he's the only person I've been with since, since 23 to now. <laughs> That's it, kind of crazy. Someone said you would sleep with all of your fur and non-fur babies in your bed with you if you could. That one is so far from the truth, actually. Um, I, my dogs are kennel trained. They sleep in their kennels and I actually really love my sleep and I get kind of irritated if anybody wakes me up from it. So I try, I've tried to sleep with my dogs in my bed before, but I just get, I'll wake up from them like licking or whatever. Like I, I'm a very light sleeper typically. So yeah, so no, I like to sleep alone. I actually really like the idea of two separate beds if I ever do get into a serious relationship again where I'm living with someone, which I can't really imagine. I feel like I'd have to be like engaged to want to like share my space with someone again. Honestly, I kind of want to have like two queen beds or just one of those giant, giant ones because I do wake up pretty easily and I go to sleep kind of early. So I'm kind of a grandma. Someone says, you don't give a shit about what people think about you. That I would say is pretty accurate. Do I prefer when people like me? Yes, I think everybody does. But do I really care if you don't? Not really. I spent my whole like childhood 
caring what people thought about me and I let it shape what I did, how I dressed, how I talked. I think I actually filmed a video about this as well. I'll, I'm gonna link these like oldies but goodies for you guys that are like staple videos that if you wanna get to know me a little better, you should, you, you should watch. I was bullied in school and I spent my childhood trying to be what I thought people wanted me to be so that they would like me. When I got all the cool clothes and all the, you know, all that stuff, I was still made fun of for something else. So I realized that being yourself and being happy with who you are as a person is so much more important in the long run than caring what anyone else thinks. I also don't really respect people that are outwardly mean or rude to people because they don't agree with them or they don't like the way that they look. So you're automatically like a moron in my book if that's how you act and interact with others. It's not something I respect. So then I care even less about your opinion because I think that you're a douchebag. And then someone also said, you don't take crap from anybody. That's true for the most part. It really depends what it is. And I think you have to pick and choose your battles. Like if a complete stranger is being a dick to you, maybe you wanna go off on them, but I haven't really, no, I kinda did go off on some lady at the gym the other day actually, but I did it in kind of a, like a, a nice fuck you kind of way. I get irritated really quickly. And I've worked, I've worked through so much stuff. Like it's been kind of crazy. This is like a counseling session. Like, did you guys know that you signed up for this? Like, let me just sit my fucking coffee. Uh, someone said, you are more of a homebody than a party goer. That is so true. I'm kind of a hermit a, a lot because I, I work a lot. Um, but I also, I don't like clubs and I am an introvert in the way that like, if I'm out, I will, instead of vibing off people's like energy and like getting more hyped up and stuff, I actually, it drains my energy. So I tend to get tired quicker. So I'm kind of a homebody, I would say, yeah. I don't know, it depends what it is. Like if it's like, you know, brewery or like wine tasting, like I love that, like that's super fun, but I don't really like loud club like atmospheres, like you'll never find me in a nightclub. Although I do wish my friends would have more themed parties because they're really fun. I had one when I lived downtown, if you guys remember that, I had a white party and that was super, super fun. And I feel like there's not enough themed parties. Like I just really live for a good themed party. Have you guys ever had one? If you have, let me know in the comments below because I'm gonna be reading through that and I would love some good ideas because when I get to Nashville, I think I should throw a party. Once I have some friends there. I mean, I literally don't know anybody except my real estate agent. Yeah, I, I gotta make some friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just did my brows off camera. Um, Max Bronner from Milk Makeup, I love you so much. He says, you're equally in love with me as I am with you and we're going to get married. <laughs> uh, uh, <clears throat> Max is gay, so basically it's, it's safe to say that that's probably gonna happen. I feel like I'm way too hungover to be doing this right now and hopefully I'm making some sense, but let's continue. <laughs> Uh, Purple Sneakers, thank you so much. She said, you're a boss ass bitch and you slay. Thank you. You're an empath and you're rising in your own power. I would say that I am an empath in the sort of sense, like I don't like actually physically feel people's pain, but I am affected. Like if someone I love is upset or even someone I don't even know, I shouldn't even say that. It's just anybody really is upset. Like I really am able to like put myself in their shoes and like I, I feel what they feel in a sense, like not like, I don't know how to explain that, but I would say that I'm pretty empathetic. This is not how you pictured your life 10 years ago. Um, and then someone also said you're super soft heart, the same person said you're super soft hearted, but you put up a wall to protect yourself. <laughs> the question below it, I'll read it after, but 10 years ago, I was 20 years old and I had just taken out a business loan when I was 18. I was doing what I could to make a better life for myself in LA. I did not think I'd be where I am right now 10 years ago. Absolutely not. My dad actually asked me that the other day. He was like, did you think that you'd be like as financially stable and successful as you are like back then? And I was like, I wanted to be. I didn't know how I was going to be. Um, you know, cause I took out a business loan to open an online shop where I made jewelry and sold like clothes and bags. And maybe some of you even remember that time. Unfortunately, like when I was doing that, all these online shops started opening up like Nasty Gal and Forever 21 kind of got really big. And so it didn't really work out, but it really helped me understand what it takes to create and run a business on a smaller scale, obviously. Um, you're super soft hearted and you put up a wall to protect yourself. Um, I 
would say that I am somewhat guarded to the things that I need to be and towards the people that I, sh I feel like I should be. But um, I am super soft hearted. I have a really big heart, but I'm, I also am very brutally honest and have like that side to me as well. I am a very like touchy feely, like I love to cuddle. Like I'm very like touchy feely person with someone that I care for, but not with strangers. I'm also kind of rigid in a lot of ways. Like I get told all the time, like I just don't sugarcoat things and I kind of just say it like it is. And I, I struggle with that a little bit. I'm just pretty blunt um, and I don't really beat around the bush, but I see that as a positive. I'd rather be that way than uh, trying to sugarcoat everything and just not really saying what I mean. That's one reason why filming a video in my own house is so comforting to me because it can be edited. And so if I say something that could be taken the wrong way, I can just cut it out. Or if I'm like, oh, that was in bad taste. Like that just doesn't sound like the person I am or want to be. So it's, it's easier to edit that way. But that's why like when you film like in a studio with like a whole like room of people, it's like kind of a different thing. You have to like have somewhat of a filter on and not be quite as blunt. You know, I am who I am. I am what I am. I really need to watch The Princess Bride. Every time I say that, I'm like, Princess Bride Night, need to watch it. It's been a while. Someone assumed that I am an only child. Apparently you didn't watch my stories. I, I wonder if the one disappeared, but there was pictures of me with my little sister. I have a sister, she lives in Germany. I also have two brothers and one is in Michigan and one is in Illinois. Each of my brothers and sisters, we all have different dads. So I, ha I share the same mother with my two brothers and then I share the same father with my sister and my mom was a busy lady, okay? She was having fun. It was the 70s and 80s and then uh, I think it was actually, no, just the 80s. She was having a really good time, what can I say? Someone assumed you started being a social media influencer by accident. So this is a funny story actually. Um, a lot of people ask me how I got started. So like 10 years ago, I had a Facebook following and I had like 30,000 followers or something. And I was in a lot of music videos. I was in Green Day, I was in T-Pain as like a principal role. So on, from that, and I also did a lot of tattoo modeling as well. Like I was on the cover of like a lot of tattoo magazines and like in side of them and I went to a lot of the tattoo shows and things like that. Oh no, look what I just did. Basically that was all before there was any of this like makeup beauty influencer, like really there wasn't hardly anyone on YouTube um, doing a lot of the shows like Candy Johnson, Crispy, Sandra when I first started getting into it. People on my Facebook started to say like, oh my gosh, I really like your makeup or I really like your hair here. You should do a tutorial on it. And I was like, what? A tutorial? I actually knew Jeffree Star a long time ago when we would model for his, this is how long ago it was, he drove a Chrysler. And I just thought he was really badass. And we modeled at Hot Topic together because he had a clothing line in Hot Topic. And so that was kind of before like Instagram had even been created. So then from there, I started watching YouTube tutorials. I started watching Candy Johnson on YouTube and Crispy and all that. And then I was like, okay, maybe I should start a channel. I filmed my first YouTube video on my super crappy laptop. I should have kept it up, but I didn't. I guess I was like, I feel like I was doing the influencer thing before the beauty influencer thing with, I don't think, I know I, I was doing it before this whole thing like had happened but it kind of just was the natural evolution of things for me to go into makeup and like a YouTube channel here. So I'm just grateful y'all want to listen to me ramble and like watch my videos because I love what I do and I have a lot of fun doing it. I just appreciate y'all listening and liking and commenting, all of that totally helps. So yeah, it's kind of crazy. Like 10 years ago, if you were like, oh yeah, you're gonna have a YouTube channel with like over 600,000 subscribers, I would have been like, ha, what? Cheers to you guys. You don't trust people that don't like your dogs. Yeah, if you if you don't like my dogs or just animals in general, like I don't know if you could actually be a decent person um, or just not, that's just not my kind of people. You just act like you're quirky and not organized for the internet uh, and to be relatable. Uh, no, I would actually say, okay, so there's two, I feel two ways about this. I'm a very organized person, but because I am also so busy, it causes me to not clean up after myself as well as I'd like to, or to be quite as organized as I'd like. I also have a love-hate relationship with digital calendars. Like I just really want to use my paper planner for everything, but I can't because I share a calendar with Arctic Fox team 
with Ryan, with my manager. So it kind of makes it impossible. So yeah, and I, I would say that I'm pretty quirky. I don't know, I'm a kind of a weird person. Like I just, I don't know. But honestly, what you see is what you get because ugh, I just don't have, I just don't really have the time to like create a fake persona. Like I probably should, it might do me a little bit better. Like how people can be really, really theatrical and kind of create their own character. Like I just don't have time for that. Like, I don't know, I just, I don't know if I'd be a good actor. I've, I've been told that I would be a good actress, but I don't know. Someone said you'd actually sign up for The Bachelor. <laughs> so I use the Carly Bible. Um, I don't know if you can see how cool this is, but there's actually like like a constellation like in the lipstick. So I wore this last or yesterday and I thought it was really pretty. Maybe I'm gonna do a red. Oh my gosh, are we gonna do a red lip right now? Like I never wear a red lip and Carly made this really pretty one. So The Bachelor, uh, <laughs> so I considered it actually cause I have some connections that I could probably get on it. I also heard that it's like, I've been on reality shows before and <laughs> So I feel like I, I wouldn't want to do it. Just, I've just heard that like you have to sleep in a room with like a bunch of the other girls and like, it's just not as like pleasant as it seems like on camera. Like it seems like oh, this lipstick is so nice. It's like the perfect like matte lipstick. I have a dream of going to the CMTs with Carly Bible now that we're both single. What do you think Carly? Hit me up. I'll be in Nashville. <laughs> you poop with the door open if you're home alone. Absolutely. I actually just peed on the sidewalk between my car and the sidewalk last night. I'm not proud of it, but I really had to pee and there was nowhere to go. And I'm just really glad no one walked into that. <laughs> You've had a nose job, no shade. <laughs> that is so sweet. Um, no, I've never had a nose job. I've, no, I've never had a nose job. You want to have kids soon. I wouldn't say soon. Um, I'm only 30. Like if I have kids before I'm 36, that'd be cool. Kids are a lot of work. And every time I sit down on the couch or go out to dinner, like just randomly, like today I just decided I'm gonna go shopping or whatever. Like I love that freedom. I will, I'll think about it. I'll be like, oh, I couldn't do that right now if I had a child. I have this little freckle under here that you can barely ever see, but I can never cover it super well. So I just usually will darken it. Um, I know a lot of you hate that, but this ain't about you. You don't have to wear my face, so don't worry about it. You secretly have more animals than you're letting us know. How did you know? That is actually true. I will be making a video about that when I get to Nashville and you'll know everything then. Uh, I did not expect that um, at all, but wow, you're good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hopefully that was uh, fun for you guys. I think that it was um, a lot of fun to film and these just cracked me up. So thank you for submitting your assumptions about me. If I did not read your assumption about me, I if you guys like this and you give enough thumbs up so I know that you like it, I will film another one because I think it's like, I feel like it's something that you could kind of do like every few months, like as your life changes and as like things change. But yeah, and I've got a lot of stuff in the works right now that I'm excited to share with you guys when I can. And um, we will see you in the next video. I hope you guys have an amazing day and thanks for hanging out.